Alrighty, guys. Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Del Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Along with Mr. Rome Laundry. Okay. Now, Romy the boy here sent this console in. That is a beautiful Jasper. Small block. Really great console to RGH. Okay. These things are warriors. I mean, you can drop them off a building. They'll still work. Okay. They, <laughs> they're just like an animal. Anyway, he sent it in with a 120 gig drive, so we went ahead, put a cool one on Rev C in it, RGH 1.2 method, thanks to Alexi 15432 and his tiny files, alright? And we cleaned her all up, cleaned out the inside and everything. Uh, so, um, Rome, I put a new cover, okay, on your drive because there wasn't one. And then you told me that your dad broke it up when he was packing it. <laughs> I have extra ones. I've got a load of them. So, you know, they're all good. So, anyway, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to boot this thing up. Now, mind you, okay, it ha I have a Wi-Fi adapter, all right? Now, the reason why is because I like them. It brings it up to, you know, a little bit better than the Ethernet cable. However, though, however you're going to connect to this, uh, connect this thing to the Internet, um, I'm going to explain how to do it, all right? And I'm going to explain everything all in this video here okay so uh please pay attention to what i'm doing all right and um you know and we'll go ahead and we'll start all right so anyway we're gonna boot it up right now all right and i'm gonna put you on the screen here that way then you can see okay i can hope that you can see anyway all right yeah let's see here yeah there we go okay all right now we're booting up Okay, now what's going to happen is, is we're going to boot up into FSD dash, okay? Now, all right. And then what's going to happen is we're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense, okay? So there you are. Welcome to Alliance. We're going to get one more. And there you are all done the approach, okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to scoot through this thing, okay? All right, under emulators, all right, you got Genesis, uh, you got, uh, let's see here, you got Genesis, uh, plus, uh, you got Genesis Plus 360, okay, you got SNES 360, and you have Main, and then, of course, Xbox Classic Games, yeah, you got a couple on there for you, all right, Homebrew Section, all right, Dash Launch, XM 360, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Chain, uh, excuse me, Simple Man Flasher, FX Menu, and Back to that and Back to Dash Launch. Xbox Live Arcade, okay, and myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games. It'll keep you busy for a long time, and then some. Okay? Brad just pulled another scam, huh? Well, he needs to get arrested for what he's doing, that's for sure. He's scamming people out of money. I mean, you know, that's his, that, they, I mean, that's terrible. And, you, you know, I mean, now, you know, people are starting to take notice of these people that are, that are scamming people with money and everything. That's why you never send friends and family. Always, always, always. Amazon Pay or PayPal goods and services. That way then you can never get screwed. You know? I mean, that's simple. All right? Xbox 360 games, okay? We got, uh, we got a few on there for you, as you can see. All the favorite titles. All right? We should be all good to go. All right? And then, of course, all right, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash the A button one more time. All right, and there you are, okay? Uh, hello again, Rome Landre. Uh, okay, welcome to the Lines Live. You're on dashboard 17559. You currently have 30 reserve days left. Got it? Good. Okay? Now, we'll bypass the sign in. And as you can see, okay, you're up, you're online, you're live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing hut, okay? And over in our fifth tab, our ghost sheets and model warfare three sheets, and then to get back to FC Dash, just smash A button next box home. And there you are. Aiden, I can understand your anger. Okay, I mean I would be angry too, believe me. I got scammed a couple of times when I first started selling these things on Facebook, and let me tell you what, right now. I learned a lesson real quick. Alright, now. Okay, here we go. Now, we're back at FSD. Now, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and hook this thing up for the first time on your network, okay? Let me show you here, all right? When you first get this thing wrong, this is what you got to do, all right? Yes. Okay. 
Now, I'm rocking a Wi-Fi adapter. You're going to be rocking an Ethernet cord or whatever you got. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, it's cool. But the main thing that you have to remember is this. You've got to pull this hard drive. Now, you've got to do this when you're hooking up to a new network, okay? It's a one-shot deal. If, it, if you have it at home and you got the network there, hey, you know, all good, just do it one shot, you're good. But if you go to a, another place with a different network, you're going to have to do this again, okay? So anyway, all right, take the hard drive out, plug it in, get everything ready, all right, power it on, all right, and then when it boots, you're going to go to the Xbox 360 Blackboard screen, okay? Go ahead here. All right, now, okay, here we go. Hey, Chris, how are you, man? Nicholas, Kevin, Chris Wright, good to see you, Nathan. Good to see you, Chris Wright. I'm going to give you Z's in a minute. Yeah, I need that, man. Um, okay, now look, here's the deal here, okay? Look, all right. Now, you're at the blackboard screen. Go to settings, go to system, go to network settings. Okay, now you'll see that it's hooked up on my Wi-Fi. You're, if you got a wired connection, you're going to be checkmarked off there, okay? So anyway, um, you know, with a Wi-Fi, you're, if you have a Wi-Fi adapter, it's going to pop up over here, okay? And then you're going to click on it and put your password in. If you're on your network, okay, which is wired, you're going to have a check mark there, okay? And then what's going to happen is, is you'll have an IP, all right? So anyway, what you're going to do, you're going to test the Xbox Live connection, okay? Now this will go for wired and wireless. Just test the connection, all right? You're going to check mark off on network. You're going to fail and fail on um, Internet and Xbox Live. Okay? I'm going to cancel that. All right? Now, look. Don't care about these two. Care about that one right there. That's the only thing you got to worry about. Okay? Everything else doesn't matter. Okay? It's the same thing you're going to do with your wired network. Same thing. Okay? As long as this can connect to your router, you're going to be good to go for the rest of them. Okay? Now, once you do this, power the console off. Take the hard drive. Plug it back in. Okay? Then what I want you to do, I want you to pull the power cord on this thing, leave it sit for five minutes, okay? Must sit for five minutes. Do not apply any power to the Xbox because we're clearing out the DNS. We're clearing out all of my DNS and all the crap that I've got from my network on here. The only way to do it is to pull the power cord on it, okay? Now, I'm going to plug mine back in because my network is correct, but you have to wait five minutes, all right? After five minutes is up, plug it back in, power it on. And hopefully with an insane amount of luck, the damn thing will boot, and uh, pretty much uh, you'll be good to go. All right, there she goes, life is good. All right, and then you should boot up into F you should boot up into FSD Dash and get notifications. Okay. Now, you see the green stopped. Okay, that's good. We're linked up. Here comes FSD. There you are. Okay. Welcome to Alliance. One more, you're good. And there you are. Okay? Then what I want you to do, go to Homebrew. Xbox 360 dashboard. Mash the A button. Alright. Currently, Rome Laundry, You're on Alliance Live. Blah, blah, blah. You're good. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go over here and go to, well, go to Download Profile. Alright? Now, if you already have an Xbox Live profile, alright, all you got to do is download it. Okay, you're going to put your credentials in and everything. If you don't, go to xboxlive.com, make a profile, and then download it to the console. It's going to ask you for your credentials and everything. Once you have all that, then all you got to do is it's going to go ahead, it's going to download it, and um, then what it's going to do, it's going to give you a screen that's going to look like this. All right, and it's going to log you in, sign in and everything, and everything should be fine. Hit the guide button. All right, go back to Xbox Home. You can go to FSB and play all you want. Now... Also, all right, look, I put multi-dash on this thing too, okay? So if you want to run Aurora, all you got to do is hit is hit the LB button, hold it down, and you'll be good to go, all right? And when, it, when it's booting up, and you'll you'll log into Aurora. Hit B for FX menu, hit Y for the stock dashboard, all right? Very simple. Now, I'm going to show you Aurora here, okay? We'll go into, let's see here. It's easier for me to access it this way. It's quicker. HD1, go to Aurora. Aurora.xex. Hit A. Boom. And Aurora should come up. There you are. Okay? Now, with Aurora, this is a different style dashboard. Okay? I need this to show all. Hit the RB button. See the menu pop up? 
Okay, D-pad, use your D-pad left and right. Here's your Xbox 360 games. Hit RB again. Here's your Xbox Live Arcade games. Hit RB again. Here's your homebrew section right here. And remember to unlock all of your all of your content after you log into your profile. Okay? So that way then it unlocks it to your profile. Okay, all you gotta do is click on it and you're good to go. You ain't got no problems, alright? Now, okay. Hit RB again. Alright. Here's your Xbox Classic games. Hit RB again. You're back to show all. Alright? Very easy. If you like this dashboard, it's real easy to set up so it boots into it. All you got to do is go to Homebrew, go to Dash Launch, hit A, go to Paths, all right? And you see where that is right there? All you got to do is, is, is do this. Hit it, okay, back out to the double dot folder, which is your root, okay? Go to Aurora, shut up, Alexa, okay? And then hit A uh, for Aurora XEX, all right? As you can see, it replaced it, all right? And then all you got to do is hit the uh, RB, hit X, the settings are saved to the launch hitting, hit B to back out, and now it'll boot into Aurora. Very easy. Oh my God, shut up Alexa! Oh my God, she keeps thinking that I'm saying Alexa and it's Aurora. Okay? <laughs> so anyway, there you are, and now we're booted up into, uh, into Aurora now, okay? Very simple, very easy, very tunable. You can set this thing up any which way you want to. It's very versatile. And she runs both ways. She's bisexual, so you'll have a blast with her, okay? Now, all you got to do to set it back, which I'm going to do for you, I'm going to hit A. Then I'm going to go to Pass, Default, back out to the Double Dot folder, go to Freestyle, Default, XEX, RB, X to save, B to back out, guess what, you're good to go, oh my god, Aurora, Alexa, shut up, oh my god, I'm going to unplug you in a minute, I swear to god, I'm going to put the, ooh, alright, anyway, okay, so now we're good to go, alright, everything is cool, and we're back at FSD Dash, okay, very simple, alright, now, to play original Xbox games, okay, it, now, this is very, very important, okay? So that way then you understand. Hey, Trevor, how are you? Nicholas, how you doing, man? Um, all right, now. Brandon, Will, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, now, now, now listen. Another thing that you got to realize with this thing, okay? When you're playing original Xbox games, you cannot play it with this on here, with Alliance Live XEX on here, you can't play it, all right? Because the only thing that's going to happen is, is this, okay? Look, we'll go ahead, we'll grab a game, all right? Here you go. Yes, we have a black screen. It is confused, it doesn't know which way to go. Because I'm hooking the same memory point that the compatibility file is. Sorry. We're going to fix it, but that is going to take a little bit of time. But anyway, that's okay. All right, there's a certain way to play the original games, and I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? What you're going to do here, okay, we're going to shut this thing down. You're going to put it in bypass mode. You're going to hit power. You're going to hit eject, all right? Leave the tray hanging out, and if you notice, I, I fixed your tray. Like I said, I put the little chrome trimmy thing on it, okay, for you, okay? Now, system booted, all right? Now, do not push the tray in. You have to wait, okay? Wait till you get to FSD Dash or Aurora. Okay, once you get to the dashboard, when you hear that thing spin up, okay, and then you go ahead and you see, there we are, now we can push the tray in, okay, you'll notice no plugins come up either, alright, now we can go on over to our Xbox Classic Games, we'll go ahead, we'll start it off, here we go, we'll hit that, now you see we have the white, and we have the white, we have the original Xbox, well, and it takes a little bit for this game to load up because it is huge, and it is also emulation, and also your drive is a pretty old drive, and um, you know, and it doesn't have a lot of cash. You okay? get, I think it's got like like eight eight megabytes of cash. All right? But anyway, there's the game. You're all good. All right. Once you get tired of the game, hit the guide button. All right, and just bring it back to Xbox Home, and there you are. Pretty easy, 
All right? So, Mr. Rome. Zach, how you doing? Tristan, good to see you. Now, look. Okay. We're going to boot back up into FSD Dash now, I hope. Any day now. There you go. Okay? So, anyway, listen. Romy, thank you for your business, man. Greatly appreciate it. We're shipping it out today. Okay? So, uh... Uh, you'll have a tracking number this afternoon and it will be active. Alright? So, listen, thank you for your business. Guys, thanks for hanging with me and watching this stuff. And as far as, um, as far as that, uh, Tim Brad is concerned, um, he has scammed a lot of people. Stay the hell away from him. Okay? Because the only thing he's doing is he's promising consoles. He's making you, making you pay friends and family, which is a big no-no because you cannot get your money back. You'll be, you'll be ripping your head out. you have to go to your bank and they'll have to, you know, say that this is an authorized payment, all this other crap and everything else. It takes time and your money is tied up and you've got nothing but a headache. Okay? So please, for the love of God, all right? Anybody, if you go to him, look out. That's all I'm going to say because he's scamming multiple people. All right? So please, please be careful. All right? Do not freaking do anything with him, because you're only going to wind up in a mess, all right? Only do, only do business with reputable people that you know you're going to get your console, and it's, it's goods and services through PayPal, and also through Amazon Pay, all right? You know, I mean, that's the best way to do it, because then, no matter what, if you don't get your console, guess what happens? You can reverse the payment, okay? So please, 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 make sure you pay... Either PayPal Goods and Services or Amazon Pay. And definitely don't go to that guy. I mean, I, I have seen horror stories now. A whole bunch of people messaging me and everything. And I'm like, going like, oh my God, you know? So just be careful, all right? Listen, thank you for everything. Greatly appreciate it, guys. All right, I got to get on to more. I've got a lot more to do. I, I've got a ton, all right? So I'm going as fast as I can, all right? Anyway, you all have a good one, guys. Holler at you later. All right, and um, be safe, be careful, and if not, name it after me. Talk to you all later.